In 2002, 52-year-old Karen Keegan lay in her hospital bed in Boston, Massachusetts, awaiting a kidney transplant. Concerned for the ailing mother, her three adult sons underwent genetic testing to see whether any of them could spare a compatible kidney. But when the tests had been processed, the doctors were met with some surprising results. Two of Karen's sons weren't actually hers. A few months later, Lydia Fairchild received a similar test result, claiming that she was not the biological mother of her two children. She was accused of fraud and nearly lost custody. You see, both Karen and Lydia had something in common. They both had a secret twin. I mean, a secret twin that was hidden inside of them. Not only were their bodies made up of their own cells containing their own DNA, they also played host to the cells of their unborn twin sisters, which contained a second, totally unique genetic code. Meaning that both Lydia and Karen had given birth to the children of women who had never been born. This incredibly weird phenomenon is known as biological chimerism. So why does this biological chimerism occur? Well, early in a twin pregnancy, the embryos are in close enough contact that one twin can absorb the cells of the other. In the case of human chimeras, one twin fully absorbs the cells of the other, fusing their embryos together to produce one individual with two different genomes just like Karen and Lydia. In fact, if you've ever had an organ transplant or a blood transfusion, you too will be carrying around another human's DNA inside your body. This can be quite problematic in forensics because there's a small chance that an individual's genetic fingerprint might not actually be theirs. We used to think of ourselves as being half mum, half dad, and 100% us, but clearly, that's not the case. Our brains and bodies are constantly being influenced by the thousands of other genomes that exist inside of us. And our intimate relationships with these different cells are what makes us who we are. You aren't a single entity, but a complex ecosystem. One that becomes a little bit more human, statistically speaking, every time you take a dump. Although perhaps it's time to redefine what it means to be human in the first place.